A lot of times, companies that sell large power stations, such as the EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra, will say that their product is a whole home backup. But are they really? Welcome to DIY Volts. I'm Seth. Typically, whenever I think of a power outage, it's one to three days. And I want to run things like the refrigerator, the lights, TV, internet, and uh, just basic things like that in the household. So today I want to hook up the Delta Pro Ultra to the refrigerator and see how many days I can run that from this unit. Now this has a lot of potential. It's a 7,000 watt output and it has a single battery of 6,144 watt hours which means it should be able to run a refrigerator for several days without having any kind of input. I do have another video on the channel showing a lot more detail about this power station. Today, we're just gonna be using one of these receptacles right here and the AC output. So I'm gonna hold down the power button to get this unit to turn on. I've charged this over the past couple of days and it is at 100%. Now with no power output, it's gonna last 16 days right here, but we're gonna be plugging up the refrigerator and getting output. And I'm just gonna use my fridge with normal operation, and so we will see how long this power station will run that. I have a standard extension cord. I'm going to plug this up right here, and I'm gonna push the AC button to turn that on. I have actually run longevity tests on this fridge before, and I've got my power cable right up here at the front, so hopefully I don't drop it. The output is currently showing 603 watts. I've got a sticky note that I'm gonna put right up here on the top, and I'm gonna say uh, the time and date, 9.30 a.m., and the date is November 7, 25. Now, if we look at the display here, it says it's gonna last for eight hours and 58 minutes, but uh, with the refrigerator, it should drop down from this 586 to about 100 watts here before too long, and it will uh, bring this back up for the time, in theory. So, all right, let's move this over here out of the way so that it can do its thing to run this refrigerator. When the refrigerator is sitting at idle, you can see that it's got a day and 7 hours, 19 minutes, 121 watts. So that's more of what I was expecting for it to last quite a lot longer whenever it is resting or not putting out that 500 or almost 600 watts. There are also times where the fridge goes into complete idle and is just sitting very still with no output whatsoever, as you can see right here. And now we've got 15 days, 21 hours. So I anticipate we'll get several days out of this power station. I've got the refrigerator test running, but let's go over some of the features of this inverter while we wait for those results. Starting off on the front of the inverter, you've got USB-C, USB-A, and three buttons. So the middle button is the power button. You hold that down for a moment to turn this on. Um, just for demonstration, I had recharged this to 24%. So it's got the input from solar or AC or whatever you're charging with. It's got the output, which is feeding your loads. It's got the percentage, number of batteries, and it's got the time which uh, this battery will last at this point. Below the display, you've got these four little drawers that pop up. So you've got these outlets, and if you read above it, it says 120 volt, 20 amp backup UPS which means it'll take 20 milliseconds for those to kick on. But then you've got the 120 volt, 20 amp online UPS, which means these run uh, all the time through the UPS. So um, there's no switch time if the AC power is pulled, uh, those are just always on. Over here, 120 volt, 30 amp online UPS. So, if you can see here, it's got a typical 30 amp, 120 volt plug for like an RV. And then over here, 120 volt, 240 volt. So, um, it's a split phase, and you can pull um, either 240 or uh, 120 off of that. If you open this up, it's got the 12.6 volt, 30 amp max DC output port. It's an Anderson plug. And you've got your low PV port, uh, 30 to 150 volt DC, um, so you can plug that up 
to have your um, PV coming in. And then down here is your AC charging. Uh, you can do a fast or a slow charge. And uh, the slow I've noticed is about 600 watts. This drawer over here is your high solar input. So you can pull this down, you can read some information about it, but you can also slide these drawers out of the way. Very cool. So you've got some MC4 connectors. You would plug your solar up to that, and then you would turn this knob to turn on the solar. If you have to unplug those, you turn it off and then unplug. Pull that back. Over here, you've got your power in and out port. The EchoFlow home panel has uh, this connectivity and you can uh, run a breaker box off of that port right there. Now this unit does have some great handles up here that you can use to pick up and move this. There is a battery cable right here that goes down to the next battery. The very cool thing about this is that uh, it's straight line and you don't have a bunch of cables sticking out getting in the way. Now the battery down below is a big block. It's uh, that 6,144 uh, watt hours and uh, it's a very basic box not a whole lot going on except for this side if you look down here at the bottom it's got the connectivity for the battery it's got a power button and then a indicator light for the state of charge now if you have to go to additional batteries you can uh, click here close that and go down to your next battery And the results are in. Now, I did not adjust my usage at all for this refrigerator, just normal everyday stuff. I first started the test at 9.30 a.m. on 11.7, and I ended the test at 9.30 p.m. on 11.9. That is a total of 60 hours runtime with the single battery. Now, I kind of envision that if you have a grid down situation, you're gonna want more than just the fridge. A couple of lights, probably internet and TV, and maybe a uh, well pump, possibly. Uh, this one, this uh, inverter is powerful enough to run a well pump. So without any kind of solar input, you're probably looking at one good day of power, um, but with just the refrigerator, then 60 hours, I feel like is a pretty good deal. So if you're looking to do a whole house backup, I probably would go with two batteries and have some solar as well, and you would be good to go for the typical power outage of one to three days. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out this inverter and battery combo, I'll have a link for it in the description down below. This video is not sponsored. I just wanted to uh, see how long it would run my fridge. I'm Seth with DIY Volts, and I'll see you in the next video.